Hi, welcome all to another video. This one, well it's Boxing Day today, so I hope you've all had a great Christmas as I did with my family. And I've decided to head off up the coast. Planned this trip oh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I know it's going to be hot, so we'll take it as it comes. That's why I'm heading for the coast. So just about all packed up. A uh, couple of things happened, so I'm a wee bit delayed. I've got to go to the hospital. I had a, a cyst actually removed from... Uh, my shoulder and they've told me I can't go swimming and on the way up north I've got to stop at uh, a couple of hospitals and just have the the bandage changed so that's a bit of a pain in the bum uh, apart from that I was going to head from York and go straight up the, the center and across to the coast but on opening a Christmas present from Anaconda I bought the commander chair and it was really nice and comfortable in the store but lo and behold when I got home some miserable bugger had uh, put a cheaper version in the in the bag and of course we didn't realize that it sat under the tree for a month opened it up and it's got the cheaper version I've rung Anaconda and they said yes come down and I'll swap it out straight away so that's pretty good of them so plug for Anaconda that's in Midland so I'll finish the last of the packing up Get to the hospital this afternoon and get away and then down to Midland and I'll go from there and head up the coast. So we'll see what happens from there. I'm now not quite sure where I'm gonna spend the first night. I haven't booked any places. Time. I just wanna see what's available for those that are just travelling on the road and don't get the opportunity to, to plan a trip. So as long as I get near the water now and again, even if I can have a paddle I'll be quite happy got a couple of new products to try out so that'll be interesting as well so stick around and it could be a one video trip or it could be a multi video trip we'll see what happens cheers and I'll catch you on the road well had the dressing changed, just about to leave the hospital, go down and next stop Anaconda. I've just arrived. It's a free camp spot on the the highway, just not far from Gilderton Turnoff. I've camped here before. Uh, I was quite surprised. There's very few people here. It's got toilets and a water tank. Now I don't know what the water is. looks like. It's all locked off. There are toilets, and it's actually on the or the upper reaches of Moore River. Well, while I was wandering around, a gentleman came up and introduced himself, uh, Steve. So, g'day mate, he's now one of my uh, subscribers. And while we were standing chatting, Liz who I hadn't met before but has been a subscriber with me for a long time and followed my channel wandered up he was in a van there as well so the three of us sat down and had a good old natter and a few beers uh, it was very interesting 
Les actually said that he'd found this site from my previous video. So it was absolutely brilliant to catch up with these guys and it really made the stop well worthwhile. One of the other occupants of the place was some guys from, well, I'm not sure where they're from, but they go to Bali and they do the stick twirling and flaming stick um, displays over there. So they even put on a special display for us. So thanks very much, guys. It was really appreciated you putting the effort in and uh, it was great to get it on film. So that was a real memorable stopover. Just a reminder, this is a very popular spot on the highway, so don't leave it too late, otherwise you may miss out. So that's the end of the first video. There's quite a few to come, actually. It was more than I expected. So next stop is Dongra, and I'll be looking for a free campsite while I'm there. So stick around. We'll see you shortly.